Hello everyone! Welcome back to Cudgel Deer! We are on the 8th day of spring and we have so much still left to do. Uh, most of our gnomes are passed out right now uh, from exhaustion. A couple of them are out in the fields trying to forge as best they can. But uh, for the most part, we're still just working on getting some of the more mundane tasks done. I did set up uh, some mining jobs to be done. I'm going to start peeling away some more of this hill. Uh, as I was looking, I think what we're going to do is set up some sort of watchtower right in this area. Um, we'll, have, we'll have this be the main entry point into and out of our kingdom. Uh, we are still going to plan on having this area... Uh, into this hill be where we're going to set up our uh, great hall, probably set up some of our uh, dormitories, some of our crafting stations. But then um, as everything's walled off on this end, we'll just slowly reclaim uh, this area as we uh, need to grow. We can just take some of this hill, we can take some of this valley here, and obviously build into this hill. And uh, we should be mostly safe. Uh, we'll be able to secure this area from any sort of invasion. Uh, but as everything's going, I want to start working on military and getting our military set up. Um, not that we're going to have uh, dedicated soldiers yet, but I want to make sure that we have a militia in place just in case. Uh, since we only have four days until uh, we have to start worrying about invasions and all of that uh, what I want to do the military tab here uh, it lets us really customize what we're going to be doing with our military so the first thing I want to do is make a new position and we will call it uh, militia and the perk for this is going to be probably way of the gnome increased attack speed attack damage dodge chance and dodge rate when no armor or weapon is incre is equipped. That actually may not work well. Maybe frenzy? Increased attack speed when wielding two weapons, but decrease... No, we don't want that. We do not want that. Scout, increased move speed and vision range with torch. Guard, increased block chance and rate. Mark's gnome, sharpshooter, that's probably not going to work for us since we don't have ranged. Uh, target nearby fallen enemies to and do additional damage. Higher chance hit legs and feet. Uh, we're probably going to want disarm, actually. Survival instinct. Increase move speed and dodge chance while bleeding. That might be actually good. Chance to not consume ammo when firing. Increase parry chance and increase pistol damage while in melee range. That would be kind of fun if we ever get pistols. But I think what we're going to want to do is focus on disarming the enemy. Because if they can't wield weapons they'll be doing a lot less damage to us and also we want to make a militia uh, uniform and basically say wear whatever you can find uh, whether it's metal or, uh, or leather um, we have the every every piece of armor has two categories there's helmet and then there's leather helm so this would be a metal this would be leather uh, arms have pauldrons which are metal and bracers which are leather all the way down and then in our left hand uh, we have the option of equipping a specific item or we can say just equip anything and what I want to do is in their right hand we are gonna say wield stone hand axes or uh, dang, I don't know but what I want to do is create 10 stone hand axes and we want 10 of these and that way everyone in the militia will have at least a rudimentary weapon otherwise they if, if they don't have any weapon they'll pick up whatever's on the ground whether it's a piece of uh, log or cotton I'm not sure how much damage you can do with a cotton uh, bush but they would probably try uh, you can have them attacking with wheelbarrows or crates basically any item that they'll find on the ground they can use as a weapon so by creating some of these rudimentary stone weapons they at least have some sort of 
damage dealing items that they can do. So I'm going to go ahead and unpause it while we're working on this, just so a little bit of work is being done on the side. Um, and then after we have our basics, not basic soldiers, our militia, we want them to be wearing the militia uniform. We want to pursue lost targets. Uh, if line of sight with the target is lost, move to the last known position. Uh, maintain distance. This is good for range, obviously. Retreat if bleeding. We definitely want that. If they're injured, we want them to back off, try to fix themselves up, uh, and then get back into the fight. Retreat to equip uniform. We definitely want that. We want them to be able to... Um, equip any armor that they might have, any weapons. Otherwise, if I send an attack signal, they'll just go with whatever they have on. Um, and we want to assist the squad leader as well. That way we can hopefully focus on one target at a time, try to eliminate as many targets as quickly as possible uh, instead of spreading our damage out. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do there. Next we have formations. And we're going to create a militia formation and the perk for this uh, increased vision range shield wall increased block chance increased melee weapon damage for each member with a melee weapon we might actually want that one that probably will be the best um the others are for we either want vision or damage and i think honestly we'll probably want the increased damage just because if we can kill them quickly, that would be great. Uh, so we'll set every position up for militia. We want to perform attack orders, attack targets that I have called out, uh, d attack enemies that have been spotted by other gnomes. Uh, I think we want... I don't think we want that. We only want militia to attack when we tell them attack. Um, otherwise, if we do defend gnomes, they'll just run out possibly at the worst possible time and now since we have nine people we're gonna need two militia squads so the first squad the hand pukers <laughs> uh, no the snot focusers also no the green focuses that's not bad and we'll set it up as a militia and we're just gonna put everyone in a squad so we have Jabba, Gravewalker, Sessification, Mooney Owl, and Motion in the green focuses. And then we need another one. The Busy... The Busy Een Birds of Grub. No. The Goreen Calls of Cave. The Flaming Slitters. That'd be cool if we had maybe Fiery Daggers, but that's not a thing. The Acting Clears. The South Troubles. That sounds like a game, honestly. Uh, the High Stenches of Cup, Solon Rips, The Brothering Gliders of Dance, Dark Mincers. I like that. Okay, we have the Dark Mincers. I approve of that name. Xen, Trickster, BK, and finally Tal- no, nope. Talon Bashadi. We have the Dark Mincers. There we go. So now everyone is going to be uh, designated as a soldier of some sort. Oh, and we have Jabba is just running out there and grabbing all of the equipment as quickly as he can. So that's good. At least we have a soldier fairly well equipped and he's ready to go there. And honestly, now that I think about it, it looks like... Well, it looks like they're left-handed and then right-hand, depending on... Yeah, depending on their angle... Huh, I never noticed that. So, it's hard to tell what their primary hand is. That's interesting. But now, in case we ever get uh, invaded by goblins or... Man Hopefully we don't get invaded by mans anytime soon. But if that is a possibility, we... Uh, we at least have some troops ready that we can uh, send out. So what we'll do is we can go military. We have the squads here. Uh, if there's any enemies that we know of on the map, it'll show up here. And we can set up attack orders. Um, 
and basically make our militia attack before anything becomes too much of a problem. And so here we should have a ramp, and this is going to be our primary entrance and exit into our kingdom. What are you guys doing? You guys are still working. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to set up a wall right here, clear off these ramps, and uh, we will be able to uh, get into here safely without too much difficulty. Still we'll have a little bit of a tiered system. Um, and again, right here, I'm probably going to move this hill back and set this area up for uh, farms or groves or something like that in the future. But for now, uh, we just want to try to get as much walled off as possible. Let's go ahead and speed this up. We have motion still making drinks. Our drink count's starting to go up. Um, are these guys still passed out? What are you... Are you guys... Please tell me you're foraging. Yes. Okay, you guys are foraging. And then you are working on a farm, which is great. And uh, we should probably... Now that this foraging is all done, we should set up a clean job. That should bring the foods over into this area. So Motion doesn't have to run around to keep uh, brewing drinks. So looks like everything is plodding along. I think what we're going to do now is we want to build a wall out of dirt, unfortunately. And we're just going to make it go right along this line right here. No, nope. there we go. And then we can um, remove the ramp here. And we're going to remove the ramps here and remove the ramps there and that should make it so we can't get in to or out of that area except by going around right through here and like i said eventually this is going to be a uh, watchtower of sorts but while all of this is running i think we can just go ahead and let them run and i will be back once something somewhat interesting is going on all right, so we have the wall done. Uh, the only ways into and out right now are this ramp right over here and then these two ramps over here. Uh, so we're going to leave though these two ramps because I still have a lot of forging and wood cutting being done over on this side. Uh, so we don't want to remove the ramps just yet. Uh, but what I want to start working on now is getting a little bit of a dining hall work. Oh, dang it, I left that little floor I do not like that at all that's gonna bother me uh, but what we want to do is try to get a little bit of a dining hall though the way everything is going to work is everything goes by kingdom worth so as our worth goes up as we construct items as we um, build new things we are going to start generating kingdom worth and the more our kingdom is worth the more uh, the goblins are going to want to take our stuff and destroy us and kill us and everything is going to get harder and more difficult. Uh, but at the same time, the more our kingdom is worth, the more gnomes will uh, come in uh, the migration waves. So it's kind of a, a risk and reward. So the, the goal is to uh, get your kingdom worth up and just slowly and consistently gain worth without uh, going over the top and getting yourselves slaughtered by the goblins. So what I want to do is work on making a great hall, which uh, the way great halls work is it is a, uh, let's see, designate area. I'm just going to designate a uh, area. The great hall is where everything uh, no, let's de re -des remove designation. The Great Hall is where, basically the great dining hall of the kingdom. And it is probably the most important room in the kingdom. It is where uh, most of the wealth will go. And everything that is in a great hall, each kingdom can have one great hall. Everything that is in the great hall... Uh, will be doubled for kingdom worth so 
anything that we put in there will actually increase its its worth by by double so it's a great way to quickly increase wealth hopefully get some extra gnomes in with the nomadic waves and um, hopefully that will help increase overall productivity and all of that as well so what I'm thinking is we will set up the great hall right in here um, and I want to have an open area so that they can look out and see everything. Uh, this spire is kind of going to be in the way, but at the same time, uh, I'm thinking eventually we could put a statue up there or something like that. And um, something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a little bit of an area. And I, I regret having built so far over here. Um, but I'm going to designate an area to be mined and then we're going to create some stairs or something to uh, get up here. So uh, give me a minute to uh, figure out exactly how we want to make everything and we will be right back. Alright, so we have a basic little setup here. Um, we, we'll have a little bit. We can make a balcony of some sort that comes around right here. And I'm thinking of setting some tables here and just having some more tables kind of in a in a semicircle that uh, is focused on looking out here. And then with this spire, we we may I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with it yet. We'll we'll figure out when it gets there. Uh, but for now, uh, we have two stairways that are gonna go in, and it's gonna come up here and here. That leaves us room to expand uh, our hall this way or this way if we need. And this area right here is gonna be uh, storage for food and drink, uh, so that if people are hungry, they don't have to come all the way out somewhere to find uh, food. It, it'll be just sitting right there. And hopefully once this is built, uh, again right now, uh, we are just doing it with dirt. Uh, we will definitely clean it up, make it look a lot snazzier uh, in the future, hopefully. Uh, but this should open up right here, if I did everything right. Yeah. And then our miner, Jabba. Where is Jabba? What is Jabba doing right now? He is crafting an item. As soon as that's done crafting, he should run off and start mining if everything goes according to plan. There he goes. Now he is a little bit slower because he's wearing the metal armor, but it'll it'll work out, I think. The one well, I guess that's not gonna work. I was I was thinking we might have some issues with that ramp of people coming down the the cliffside, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. And uh, it's kind of frustrating that all of this is dirt. I was hoping to get a lot more stone out of it, but uh, it'll be okay. And I think what we'll do is we will designate a small little stockpile here and say we want soil to be stored there, and that will help clear up the floor. Uh, everything, so soil and stones can be stacked in groups of 16, or not 16, 64, uh, without needing crates or anything like that. So when we clean the floor, it'll it'll stack it up here in stacks of 64, and then once we designate a somewhere for these to uh, go away somewhere, uh, the gnomes can pick them up in the full stacks of 64 and get them moved out. And just that quickly, we have a great haul. So let's go ahead and designate dining room. And we should be able to go. Oh, we can designate the, that's weird. I don't think we want to designate the, hmm, that's weird that we can do that. Anyways, um, and you know what? We're gonna designate right there as well, just so we get the value of the doors and this stockpile is not considered part of the great hall yet but that's okay the the worth of our great hall is zero so what we'll want to do is build some tables and chairs let's go ahead and get uh four tables and four chairs built for now and uh, we can make a little bit of an area 
for them to sit and eat but for now it's just a hollow room uh, it will definitely start looking better in the near future I promise I promise let's go ahead and mine this so that there's two ways in two ways out I'm not sure why he's going around to do that I would think that it would be smarter to start right there there we go and perfect all right so we now have a great hall we want to uh, designate this area as a stockpile for food and drink but uh, I'm not sure you know what we're gonna put it for all food except for fruit and a stockpile for drink and that should work that way the fruit will stay down here uh, to be brewed and we can put this how do we want to do that I think we want that as a higher priority and that way it'll fill up here and then once we have an overflow of drink it'll go up and get stored right there and hopefully that should work so it looks like everything is going we're planting some trees still we got a fair amount of trees knocked down we still have quite a bit of fruit out in the wild I'm not sure entirely why that's not getting cleaned up yet uh, probably just because there's so much stuff going on right now hey our wheat's starting to get grown that's great uh, we will be able to start um, feeding our yaks with it for one thing uh, and that's probably where it's gonna go for the first harvest after that we'll be able to start making sandwiches and, and food such like that to really start feeding our people as well as our animals but uh, for now I'm pretty happy with what we've got. We have a militia set up. We have a great haul started. Um, obviously it's nothing all that exciting yet. We'll be able to uh, change out the floors and retexture the floors. I wish we had a couple more stones so we could add a little more decoration besides just one color. But uh, that will come in time once we get uh, trading with the other gnomes kingdoms will be will be fine i wonder if we even know any oh hey we do we could actually start hosting an ambassador uh to start getting some trade going and you know what i think we will do that but we'll probably get that going next episode we want to make sure that they have a bed to sleep on and they have pretty much everything that they need uh ambassadors require a few more things than just the average gnome so we want to make sure that they're comfortable so that they are willing to send us uh, some merchants to trade with uh, so we'll get that set up next episode but for now I think I'll go ahead and leave you thank you as always for watching I hope you guys are enjoying this series uh, don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time but until next time and as always don't be a stranger take care